So if you're wondering what Frog Days is, aside from actually 99% finished, this game is not actually finished. It's really close to being finished. From what I understand. Um, otherwise, I can't even tell you what Frog Days is. So why don't we find out together, because I barely know. Let's say Scorn Boulevard. Is that a blue? Also, there's a blue jay out the window. Whoa. Umaguma. Oh, no, no, no. Adam Hart, mother cow, but big, long. On Ponzi Boulevard. <laughs> the lightsaber on the wall. I wonder if the same Bonzi is the Bonzi I'm thinking of. Restroom. It's the four seashells from Demolition Man, and it seems like it's frogs only in here, chat. Okay, I can't click on that. What are frogs, though? David du Duchovny was right when he said that, you know. Why buy land on Mars now? To put it simply, it's cheap. We bought the land for pennies. You can buy it for dollars. One dollar will buy you five miles of beautiful Martian land. What's so special about Mars? As you may or may not know, Mars is the closest planet to our own beautiful gem of soul, Earth. Let's say you have made your residence on Mars, but you forgot your keys when visiting Grandma. Well, Mars is only 33.9 million miles from Earth, which is a small distance for super spaceships of the future to travel. You'll be there in five minutes or less, or your money back. Chat, I don't know really what I'm playing here. But I really want to buy land on Mars. Wasn't there actually a way to do that? To, like, buy land on the moon or something? Or on some planet? That's got to be Bonzi Buddy. That has to be Bonzi Buddy. It was a scam? Yeah. Well, yeah. You think when, like, people colonize the moon, they're going to honor those fucking certificates? Because they're most certainly not. Oh, oh, we found a way to do interstellar travel. You own this star. Yes, you, um, John Freeman of Earth. Congratulations, this is your star. Wow, it just so happens we found the rarest material in the galaxy on this particular, in this solar system, and you own it. Oh wait, you've been dead for 3,000 years. And your family is, they, they don't even know you have a certificate. Three thousand is very generous. Yeah, but by then we'll have ascended our mortal coil and we will look all like Chad's. Our physical form... Well, we wouldn't have ascended the mortal coil, but our physical form will have mutated so much. Open when ready, you'll know when. Okay. I mean, there's a UFO abducting a cheeseburger. I, was this game made recently? No. This was made 10 years ago? Even so, 10 years ago is still, this is a throwback. The visuals are so perfectly 90s that you could have told me this was made in 1998 and I would believe you. This build is from 2018. But I love this. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to do, but I don't really mind. I'm just enjoying exploring. I guess I'm supposed to look for clues about the frog days or something. The goal is to use the computer. 
Does it have a Pentium 2 processor? Scorn. Um, something happens here, but I don't know how to turn the computer on, chat. It says three. I don't know why it says three, and then it goes to the paper. You found the computer room, but what, at what cost? Can I use the foot pedal? Why is the foot pedal on the desk? Play Xbox? Is the reflection in the monitor a purple Teletubby? You know what? Chat member, you sick, sick puppy, you might be right. I don't even know how you saw that, but now I can't unsee the purple Teletubby right there. Um, but yeah, this is as Sunday stream as you can get, in my opinion, because I don't know what this is. I don't know how to play it. It's weird. It's got, like, some dev lore. I mean... Um, Tubby Derangement Syndrome. I think you're ready to open the door. I can't, it, it won't let me. I can't put my frog, my grubby frog hands on it, chat. Eight, one, three. Is that a secret? There's a number there. Look at the PC tower at your desk. You can put the power on from there. I was looking for the tower. I didn't see it. Oh, it's oh, it's down there. Well, it, it is... there. There's a tower, but I can't actually go over to it. Oh, now I can! Uh... Huh. What is... It's a finger. Oh, yes. Advanced assembly. There's some pizza. Squiz kid? There's a squid down there. There's recyclable with... I see a pizza slice in there, I think. We did it. We can copy the floppy. Your flamingo s experience is loading. Holy shit. Um... Chat, the resolution is not good here. I, I need to stop the game. I need a better... I need something bigger. and Because uh, I can't read the text really well. Um, I need another uh, size for 4.3. I'm sorry about that, chat. By 1024. 1280 by 1024. This is better. Much better. The text looks great.
we will have to watch the loading again, but that's okay. Music is good. I'm just going to lower it a little bit. Okay. So this game doesn't even have a category on Twitch. I, I may be one of the five people in the world who have ever streamed this game. Or even... No, nah, that's not true. There's people in chat knew what it was. Never mind. Forbidden game, maybe. Hey, Vine Sauce. Smells like you've showered with productivity soap. TM, looks like you can take care of this. But uh, if you need help, I'm a double click away. Memory leak. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just passing through. Okay. Oh, this is just a shrimp on the screen? Okay. No wonder there's a memory leak. Look at all this shit on the desktop. So, this is a couple years before Hypnospace Outlaw. Okay. I'm so thirsty. Maybe if I lean forward, I get a drink. Oh, wow, it tastes great. Even the audio quality is perfect. Oh, wow, it tastes great. Is that the bussy? Hey, don't mind me, I'm just passing through. Oh my god, I'm overwhelmed with the amount of things I can click. <laughs> Have you thought about a new wallpaper? I saw one here that fits your personality like a glove. What the fuck? You could just ask me to move. Ow, that's pointy! You ever heard of excuse me? Ow, that's pointy! You ever heard of excuse me? Ow, that's pointy! The oh, fuck? I think today will be a great day. That's nice, thank you. Um, you can't, new mouse pointer theme. Great, I love it, thank you. Um, what's the fifth of F sharp chat? I'm bad at this. A? Well, I could just go one, two, three, four, five, it's B. Or is it C sharp? C sharp. Well, it's a f one, two, three, four. Four, five. Aren't you a musician? I'm barely a musician. I know how to play the chords. It's seven, not five. Oh. Someone said, I teach music theory in college. Can, can I go to your college for five minutes real quick? Just five minutes. Hell yeah, Seinfeld, son. This is my DAW chat. I hope you you're aware of that. God, that fucking snake is gonna get real annoying real quick. I don't think we can go high enough, chat. Let's see, maybe we could try it and see.
Random is good, too. Good song, good song. I've given up, chat. I, I really, I don't, I don't have the patience anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kramer, what are you talking about, Kramer? Broadcast. What does that mean, broadcast? You almost made the goblin song? That's probably how the goblin song was made. It's... you know what? It is very similar to goblin music, you're not wrong. We've arrived at a grand piano for some reason. Empty hand, moldy pizza talk. Hello? You can walk around. Wow, you're right, I can. However, I need to return to the desktop because I I cannot use I mean, it, it sometimes, sometimes these things work, sometimes they don't. There's a little Grey Leno in, in that voice there. Bonzi buddy, not now, god damn it. Oh, because of the banana. Oh, and now the hand is monkey. Cool shapes. Yeah. You don't even understand hi? The, the, the amount of the amount of screen clutter Vinny I beg you please click on the cum leaf that's aloe aloe like aloe this is pictures buzzy body what's going on here This is amazing, chat. We got small, and then we became Final Fantasy music. Frog is huge. There's Legos, and there's a little house, and the frog is huge. Blue Jay is still here, by the way. <laughs> the 
<laughs> this is the most amazing house. It's a family of forks and spoons, and they're watching color bars on TV. Frog shit over here. I can't open the oven. Is that monkey monkey boy music? I mean, what commentary could I add to that? It's just what you do when you're a streamer and there's a, a drawing program in a game. What do you, what chat? You don't understand, it's what you're supposed to do. It's like when Mario was like, Come on, it's time to fuck your own father. It's where the song was going. Huh? You don't remember that? I don't know if there's a, a goal to this other than just like explore and you know find some weird shit underwear dolphin trust me i'm a dolphin not a virus i mean there is the door it was like when you're ready you will know Creator of Hypno Space credits this game as an inspiration, and apparently, um, the dev of this had some done some work on Hypno Space that never made it to the final game. Interesting. Well, I I like to think of this game as just existing in the ether of reality. It's just there. It's always been there. Why is it there? No one knows. There's a part of me that feels like it would be cool if no one knew anything about why this game existed. It just kind of existed. That's a strange creature. There's some ducks in the pool. It's like a placid plastic duck simulator thing going on out there, chat. Exerciser. Whoa. It's like shitty Tetris. Oh, these shapes make no goddamn sense, chat.
However, the music is pretty great. This sounds like the end theme to an RPG. A lot of this music sounds like RPG music to me. I'm so good at this game. All these Tetris shapes. Chat, there's too many different shapes. It's a nightmare. Can we stop? Can, can you stop? Flamingo, can you please stop? Stomach. Virtual stomach. I'm kind of surprised there isn't interactivity between the bakery stuff and, and the stomach. Big Bash 95, to start a new party, click on the new party button. You would like to return to your computer's desktop, click the exit sign. Enter the month you were born, and then the date. Forty five sixty six. Great. Okay, that was fun. We had a lot of fun there, too. Yeah. Just so much fun. Have you heard the blurb? Okay. Chat, the ambient sound effects are amazing. And it makes me kind of miss the old computer I used to have. Computers. I had a, a Dell and a Gateway at one point. Pretty good, right? Painting is a fun, relaxing, and even therapeutic activity, but sometimes it's hard to be inspired. Try painting a bell pepper on upside down, inside out. Okay. Whoa! Chad, I'm going to try to draw Yoshi from memory using this. I 
That's Joshy. All right, Pikachu from memory. <laughs> Games are stupid. Um, you know what? No, no, Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur. What does Bulbasaur look like? Yeah, that's that's about right. That's, that's about right. Um, who else, chat? Give me give me someone else to draw from memory. That was Squirtle. Oh, right, cause green, uh, cause blue. Hang on, hang on. Bulbasaur was more like this. Bulbasaur was more like this. Bulbasaur, and then hang on, hang on, we could do, uh... Okay, uh, who else? Charmander? You want to see Charmander from memory? Let's see if I can do it, chat. I think I can. Charmander from- I'm gonna use the fire. So Charmander from memory is, uh... It's got like little claws. He's got like a fire tail. Um, you have like a... I think that's him. I think that's him. Um, anyone else chat? I'll, I'll do two more drawings. Cloud. You want me to draw Cloud from memory? Okay, Cloud from memory. I can do because I used to draw a cloud once in a while. So we start with that. Go like that. a little spikier, I think. Might be a little too spiky, but that's all right. No one's going to notice. Remember this? The arm thing? He's got, like, the thing there. And he's got, like, his arms after the arm thing. That is his belt. I remember the belt. And then there's his other arm. <laughs> right? And then, uh... Then he's, he's got his sword. Which... You can draw like this. Because he's, he's going to be holding it.
and the sword is fucking massive. Right? It's massive, and it goes like this. And he sits it, he rests it on his shoulder. And here's, here's the blade. And then there's the, the materia. You can't really see it, but I can draw a little materia here. And, uh, what happened to his arms? What? He's just their arms. There he is, Cloud Strife. That's him. Musculature. That's what that is. That's just me doing a little detail. A little, little musculature. You want me to draw Mr. Dink? All right, fine. I can draw one more for you. I'll show you a little Mr. Dink. From memory, no reference. I remember Mr. Dink having crazy hair. Right? So we start the crazy hair. Right. And then we go like this. He's got glasses. Definitely has glasses. Give him some ears. Because how else would he hear Douglas's size? He's got a big dink nose. I remember him also having like a goofy, a goofy toothy smile. Got a big dinky toothy smile. Vinny, that's just Mike. Don't make fun of Mike like that. Don't do that to my friend. Fuck you, chat. This is Mr. Dink. You broke my grill? It... Let's see. Mr. Dink. Oh, man. Tabbing out. And then I go back to the, the silence of my tinnitus. And I'm like, shit. Oh, okay. You know what? No, that you're right. That's not, that's not Mr. Dink. Here, I'll show you Mr. Dink. I'll do a quick dink for you. This is a quick dink. All right, so we start with that. glasses so there you go and then the the real defining feature of mr. dink is the nose and I already screwed up I can't believe, here I am playing this frog game and I get stuck drawing for a half hour. Oh boy, that's not really that great. Uh, I kind of ran out of room for a decent dink nose, everybody. I'm sorry, uh, but yeah, it's it, you get the idea. Perfect comedic timing. Thank you. Um, just testing out this email thing, so I put stuff in the address bar. Bye. Hello, son or daughter. It's your father here. Good news. Your dad, which is I, has won the lottery. Yes, my boy or girl. I'm rich now, and I, your father, want to give you a chunk of money. Please send me your dear old dad, your bank account information, and routing number. Love, dad, father. Like eyes, like 
eight dwarves' gleaming eyes. Untitled, no name, who am I to pick a name? I took a heavenly ride into the shining sun, lost in time for millions of years. I knew the moment had arrived. There's a silence surrounding me in a world of magnets. With the force of some inner tide unleashed the power of our imagination. I know something you don't know. Chat, this is the division bell. This is High Hopes from Pink Floyd, but it's redone differently. It even says the divider at Freud FloydianSlip.com. Keep talking. That's a song from the division bell. There is also a mystery associated with that album, which came out in 94, called The Publius Enigma, which was the band just trolling its audience. I'm done driving this car around. They don't pay me enough to deal with this. Okay. And now there's a rat. Your drivers aren't working properly. Drivers of the lifeblood of Flamingo OS operating system. Working driver or vehicles required. It's recommended you fix the problem. You could just ask me to move. Chat, this is such nonsense. I have no idea what to do. But yeah, that's that's seeing any kind of Pink Floyd reference is very uh, very interesting to me. And it was like kind of a mix of um, oh, love rains down on me easy as a breeze. I listen to her breathing. It sounds like waves on the sea. Oh. Burning with rage and desire, spinning into darkness. Earth was on fire. It's another division bell kind of like amalgam of different Division Bell lyrics, which, you know, not my favorite album, but it's got some good music on there. Not as great lyrics, but... I mean, 94, 95... Behind the screen, I scream. You should know you're not alone. Clearly. Marooned. Yeah, Marooned is a great song. I love High Hopes. Keep Talking is pretty good. I'm a big fan of um, Lost for Words. There's, there's some good songs on there. What is the password? Who really knows? I sure don't. Fabulous prizes. Take a trip on a fabulous cruise far out on the beautiful ocean away from all your life's problems. No homework, no bills, no special assignments, no clients to deal with. I don't- that was it Chris Farley? Is there anybody out there? Mental. Okay. A uh, bowl of milk. Is that you it, can then? just ask me to move. I cup. Oh, I see you pee. Chat, it's the pipes. The famous pipes. More of the famous pipes. Vinny, there was a username and password. Huh? You were you urged to write down in an email sent by an alien. I gotta go back into the emails and check that out. Huh. 
red solo cups. Man, just throw me in a weird place with weird visuals and give me some awesome music and I am satisfied. This music sent a little division bell. I mean, it does. There's there's some some of that. I heard some this one reminded me a little bit of um momentary lapse. More for its 80s sounding stuff. There's a recycle bin in the water there. Yellow brain? Blue brain? It's terminal frost. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, really? I'm not a big momentary lapse fan, so I don't listen to it a lot. Terminal frost. I'm just going to play it. It's not going to get claimed because I'm playing it so quick. Oh my god. You did it, chat. You found it. Someone said, this sounds like Risk of Rain music. What if I told you the composer of Risk of Rain is a Pink Floyd fan? Even if I don't think this quite sounds like it, personally. But you can hear it in his solos, his guitar solos. How, someone said, how come I like Risk of Rain and don't listen to Pink Floyd then? You could. You might like it. top left application on the desktop and click on the bone all right um i don't really know what the point of all this was chat i opened the brains but i didn't really have very much luck it looks like an n64 tape watch all VCR. Oh, I get it. Like a VCR. Alien VHS. Maybe there's no power. Oh, wait a minute. Is there power? Fix something, get password, something, other stuff, smelly. Do the wires correspond with the brains? That was my initial thought. There's, um, red, blue, and yellow fixed drivers yeah I was thinking that too uh, I really wanted to watch that alien tape chat Vinny feed pizza to red brain Taste is the moment, and 
Is that what's going on here? I have to find various items and feed them to the brains, and then I can watch the tape. Wow, that, that is so fucking weird. And just figuring that out organically and with a chat member telling it to me, but that's still organic as far as I'm concerned, um, was interesting. Other organs. I think we need to just go and find more stuff and then come back. I mean, I'll play a little bit more of this. This is, this is interesting enough. It's the objects that are around the brain. That one was surrounded by food. Okay, so we What's just have to- What's taking you so long? Click on something. We just keep finding stuff. The game's not done though, that's the problem. It's It's been abandoned, so I don't know how much is- I don't know how much is actually like, there is to do. Hey. Rusty Cuts. <laughs> My favorite baseball player. Isn't Debussy a philosopher or something? Oh, he's a composer. Oh. That would make a whole lot more sense. Queen Lean? Is that a Chrono Trigger reference, maybe? Ooh, that is some harsh mixing. Jobless. Hey, don't mind me, I'm just passing through. It's all so weird. Someone said click on the bone. Oh, now you're really pushing my- I don't see a bone. I don't see a bone. I see there's this. Weird. Uh. I can't really do anything here, but... I couldn't click the light, uh, the lamp. Can you put the light bulb in the lamp? Maybe. Oh, that's what this fucking taxi does if you double-click it. Do I need to put, like, 25 cents in here? Spanduli. Spandulix. Okay. We we use the cash and now we're here. I got that. This is evocative of something. I don't know what, but I, I feel something, Chad. I think I feel something. Feel Sunday. Yeah. It's 
almost the Battersea power plant. Almost. Maybe not. I don't know what else there is to do here. It's it's really it's cool looking. All of this is cool looking. And there's like a lot of individual like frames of, of graphics that were you know created. Even if it's just to like maybe not have anything to do but just to look at it. Oh, it does kind of remind me of the Realign album cover a little bit. There's the fucking Realign chair. Kinda. Go up. To the lava lamp lighthouse. I don't know if there's anything else to do. Um, it seems like there's stuff to do, but I, I don't I don't know what to do here. Inventory. Ocean essence. I don't I don't really have much. I can't interact with canvas in any way. Uh. What was the alien one? <laughs> Greetings, Earthling an important message. If your brain is short of RAM, grab parchment. Take note. The username is AstroFrog. The password Game is WordPass. Please use this to one. The username is AstroFrog. The password is WordPass. Ocean Essence to the, um, the brain. Yeah, yeah, that's, I figured that was a thing. Oh, there's Dink again. Alright, great. Now I can finish him. I mean, he's a little fucked up, but that's that's more dink essence than what I drew previously. What, what does this fucking refrigerator do? Anything? No. What's taking? SFX player. Can the guy get some sleep around here? Come on, make it snap. Snap, 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 snap. Okay, I might have added a couple of these. <laughs> you know, snack time with computers. Absolute worst. And uh, there's a good reason why I say that. Uh, one word. Microchips. Okay. Sheesh, you, you know, all these file formats. It, it's hard to keep track of uh, which one's which, you know? You got .txt, .bmp. How about a uh, .let me see what that file is? Oh, man. How do I hire that dude to be one of my writers? 
been looking for a better writer lately. Chad, I'm sorry, you're just not cutting it lately. It was very important we listened to all of that uninterrupted. I got here as quick as your computer processor would allow me to. Uh, I gotta go to the bathroom. You mind if I park here? Thanks. Um. <laughs> oh, look at this! Okay. Well, we have a username and password now. Well, that's awesome. Interesting. Wait, what? You said something, but no one heard it. Thing has to be weird. AF1. That's probably a holdover of the game not being fi finished. Oh, I got some kind of blue spaghetti. Chat, blue spaghetti. I think it's important. I don't know. Something like Luke Skywalker would eat. Well, I want to go to Tashi Station. Not until you eat your blue spaghetti and drink your blue milk, motherfucker. That's what Amparu would say, probably. Um, I'm going to assume I, I'm, I'm good there on that. I might... I might not be, but I got some blue spaghetti, so I'm pretty happy with that. Photos? Some alien photos? Alien butt plug? There's pizza aboard the UFO? Okay. Eat your blue spaghetti, you loser. I swear to God, Luke. I will fucking dropkick you from the Empire State Building if you don't eat your blue spaghetti. And that's why all those years Luke never left. Light bulb doesn't work. Um, Tulip's tank? Hi. My, My name's, name's Tulip. How, How about, about some, some gold, gold fish? fish? Hmm, you got any sevens? Guess I'm going fishing. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have any tens? Guess I'm going fishing. Go fish. <laughs> hmm, you got any kings? <laughs> Thanks. You wouldn't happen to have any. Joker. Joker. I guess, guess I'm, I'm going, going fishing. fishing. Uh, I have a feeling I actually have to play this you legitimately fishing, to get an right? item for the brain. <laughs> hmm, you got any sevens? I guess, guess I'm, I'm going, going fishing. fishing. <laughs> Go fishing. <laughs> okay. Jump, 
I'm having so much fun. Alright. Yup. Yup. Uh, there's a beach ball. Beach ball. Wait, wait, no. Trash. Oh my, okay. Okay, we found trash. There's a bird in here. The bird's still alive. I mean, I'm not sure what it's doing in the trash bin. Oh, wow. That's Harry Amos, author of the self-help novel series Live Like Buddha, Die Like Jesus, and A Dolphin's Guide to Secular Thinking was pronounced dead this afternoon in a brutal car accident. Okay. Harry Amos, huh? Um, someone said something about a bone? Spaghetti for your car? Blue chicken breast. <laughs> it's another Luke Skywalker favorite. It's the cum leaf. Yeah, but the, that's, that's, you don't want chat. That's not, that's chat. Ultimate teeth cleaning, nuke your nose nachos. Spaghetti for your car. Plain Jane's tried and true back to basics grassroots hot dog. Stir fried ramen noodle spaghetti. Okay. Um, what now, chat? I don't know. Uh, hey, don't mind. Click on the leaf again. Oh, the bone in the leaf. New world unlocked. Okay, great. That that was okay. Something. <laughs> looks like an inefficient device, but uh, a lot of these things are all kinds of broken in some form or another. There's tricycles. Land of the large lizard. There's a question mark on the stairs. I see it. Um, no bueno. Bueno. Smelly. <laughs> Is that like a, wait a minute, that looks like Jar Jar a little bit, like a Jar Jar frog. But also Mac and me. Under construction. I don't know why there's a baby crying. I, I don't know. I do know there's a door there that I can't get to. Now I can get to it. You must be this tall to enter the gallery. 
Michael Lasselo, Twisted Fate, 1875 Marble. Now it's museum if anything goes. Puke. This just reminds me of like early 90s aesthetic for some reason. Martha Bland, nothing is left, 1985. Due to complaints from museum goers regarding inappropriate and perverse artwork, the sculpture Dolphin Avalanche is no longer available for viewing. We apologize for the inconvenience. Super Violence? Jack McThompson? Oh, Jack Thompson. Blood Games, 1993. There's a couple layers here, chat. There's some layers here. I like it. It just has, like, spikes on it. <laughs> I remember that douche. Yeah, I remember that douche. But we also... It's funny because we went from that to when people saw, like, a clip of GTA Five. And people were freaking out. Like, why can you do this? Like, that's, but that, that, that's, oh, that's GTA. That's what happens in GTA. Believe it or not. It's, uh, it's an interesting, interesting time we live in. I was very surprised that people didn't know what Grand Theft Auto was. Maybe I'm misunderstanding the situation. I do that sometimes. Are those like macaroni noodles, but they're also covered in silver paint. Andy Warthog. Vincent Van Garbage. That's me. Self-portrait. <laughs> But there were a couple more rooms to go in, right? You missed a sculpture of, like, a dinosaur person? I don't like it, chat. Getting pizza. Yeah, I've got three pizza slices. I don't want it. Martha Bland. This pizza smells funny, chat. Yeah, chat, I don't- I don't need further context. It, it's okay for me to not know everything. I, I'm better with that sometimes, you know? Apparently there's a stairwell in the middle behind that- behind a fake wall? Where? I'm, I didn't realize how absorbed in, in this game I was going to get, because it's just so fucking weird. It's like a weird mix of bizarre and nostalgia, even if it isn't strictly um, an old game. It feels just like something from the, the mid-90s. So there's a fake wall? What do I have to do? There's so much that you haven't explored yet, it's kind of crazy how big this game is. I can't go that way.
Junk Pearson table for you. Um, there, yeah, there's, there's this, this maze that, I don't know if it's a clue, it gives you directions to the fake wall. <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, I'm gonna be able to actually figure out what that means. Sorry, I thought you were able to go behind that wall. It's okay. It looked like it. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Apparently there is a lot more, so... I'm not sure how much of that we're going to see. I'm just going to come back here for a little bit. I'll try to feed the brains the things, and if I don't have the required brain materials, then, um, then we move on. photos, I guess. I don't think I have the necessary stuff here, chat. But again, the game's not even finished, so... Okay, well, that, that works. Use your nose to guide you to the things that smell. spaghetti doesn't work. I wonder, chat, if there's music there. So I'm wondering if, like, the, the music creator has an item. It's got, like, bowling balls that's, like, sport. There's, like, sport that is required for that one. The item names are color-coded. So that's red. Alright. You left the piano area without exploring it. Did I? Okay, so the piano area? Where was the piano area? Is that- was that in the music creator? Oh, right. Yes, this. Recording. It's cl clearly a lot of talent on display here. It's just a shame this was never... I don't know. Never finished. Know. So much work. Now, imagine getting a game to 99% finished, and then you're like, no. <laughs> Why? I'm sure there's... I'm sure there's reasons, some of which chat has told me, um, that I don't really care to repeat or talk about, because it's... I don't know. Let's just say it's unverifiable. <laughs> Never mind, it's verifiable. No. <laughs> Endings are hard to make. They are. 
But, I mean, for a game like this, you don't really need to do a huge ending. You can just make it weird and kind of abstract, I think. I don't know. How would you end this? Um... Okay, so you're on a computer, right? You start in the room, and then you go onto the computer. When you escape, you find out that you've been in another computer game. On your computer. In real life. I don't know how to end it, chat. I have no idea. Sounds good. What's taking you so? <laughs> you, you could just ask me to move. Forest mood. Yeah, we don't have. We don't have the materials for the brains. Um, I'm probably not going to come back to this game, but I, I will say I'm very impressed by it, and I'm glad that it inspired Hypnospace. Well, because if... Listen. I don't know how much more there is to see. If anyone knows for sure, let me know. But... You know, if there's not going to be an ending, if there's just going to be, like, a big gap, and then the game just can't be played anymore... That sucks. There's a world that's unfinished, and it crashes the game. Okay, so confirms. There's a world that's unfinished. Well, I'm going to stop playing this in a second. There's a lot I like about this, and I think I would love more stuff like this in general from developers. Like, I think it would be really cool if more people leaned into these point-and-click type things. And just how weird some of these early 90s games are, especially with, like, live-action sequences. Like, oh, suddenly a small Christopher Lloyd is talking to you. So, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this, and I hope you did too. This was appropriately weird for Sunday. Um, funny. Mysterious. And just really bizarre. Goodbye. Uh, oh, actually, chat, is there a way to... Is there a way to exit the computer? Throw out window. Holy shit! Oh god! Alright. Exit this. I was gonna try to save it, but I don't think that's happening now. Okay. Sadly, you can't save the game. Ah. All right. Well, let's see. Let's do some porthole. That's disgusting.